Welcome back. You're watching TV News Most Wanted. I am Jared, and joined by Fireflight on the show this week. It's been a while. How are you guys? Good. Good. How are yeah. you? Very good. Thank you. I was telling Don before the show, this could be the first time I've had you in the studio where you can actually talk. You don't need to sign the whole interview or write on the whiteboard. That's pretty fantastic. Everyone's really excited. Yeah, I'm really excited. Everyone? <laughs> yeah. I'm really sick of talking yeah. to the I rest again. <laughs> so. No, uh, I, wanna, I know you guys have the new album, and we're going to be premiering the new video. But before we get to that, Obi told me that he heard you were a really good cook. He did. Yeah, random story. <laughs> random story. Okay. He ran into somebody in Seattle that was an old roommate of yours and said ah, you were yes. a very good cook. Uh huh, my friend Lauren. True. I do like to cook a lot. Okay. I think it's because I like to eat. Okay, that's fair enough. What do you like to cook? That doesn't make sense. Um, I like to try all sorts of different things. Like, I try to find recipes that sound good, and then I take out the things that I don't like about them and make them into something new. Right. But I like to make egg rolls, homemade egg rolls. Egg rolls, egg. okay. Yeah. Does she cook for you guys a lot? No. <laughs> what? Where's the disconnect <laughs> there? Uh, we don't have a lot of cooking I think it's called utensils. selfishness. <laughs> Oh, man. Know. I will tell you that when you say you like to eat and therefore you like to cook, I like to eat. I actually hate cooking. It's probably my least favorite thing to do. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's, it's rough. <laughs> it's really rough. There's never it. like a catastrophe. Yeah, where it's really rough. Restaurants. When my wife has gone out of town for days at a time, I eat like hamburger helper and, and chips. Hearts. And like, that's it. It's, that's the only thing I know how to make and that's the only thing I'll eat. I think I would just survive on cereal. Yeah, I'm there too. I mean, anything that's easy to make like that, that's the thing though. I really like eating. When she cooks, I love it, but I really despise cooking myself. You so. get some corn dogs too for yeah. days like when, that. Whenever Wendy leaves the house, you know, during a meal time and I'm there by myself, she'll come back home and say, You had cereal, didn't you? That's <laughs> <laughs> true. I did. Like, I'll I did. have lunch meat, I'll have cheese, like all these options. I'm like, you can have this, 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 or this. Mm -hmm. He's, no, like, I'll be, he's I like, I'll be good, I got, I got it. it. I come home, I'm like, cereal. did you Two eat? Pours, Either he won't have eaten, <laughs> yeah. or he'll have just had cereal. Yeah, see, for me, it's One more than concerned. Like, sink. did you eat it all? <laughs> and if I ate, it's like, okay, at least, that, at least he ate something. That's good. Well, I just need to get someone that really likes to really, really cook and is around all the time. There, that's what we need. Firefly is here, and you guys have a new album out, and it is awesome. So kudos on that. Really Thank you good. Very Thank much. you very much. Let's talk about this new album. Um, let's start with recording. When did that happen? Uh, last year in the summer. Um, okay. It was kind of it was weird because it kind of started um, before we were supposed to start, just because we were uh, riding with our producer, uh, Jason Rowell. He used to play in Red. Okay. Right. And um, so we basically continued all throughout the summer. We had shows kind of intermingled in there, so there was a lot of like hurry up and record, and then go play a show, and then record some more. Okay. Um, but it was it was a really cool experience. All right, really so fun. not traditional then. You didn't go into the studio for like four to six weeks, and then you're done. It was more of a... Well, we had four to six weeks. Okay. You just split of it Of time. <laughs> of you overall just time. cashed it in at different points. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We just... shows along with that four to six weeks of time. Yeah. Right. So okay. it's just double stress for us. Yeah. But that makes for great records. So we Yeah, do, how, did so. That, how did that change <laughs> things kind of for you guys? Oh, we're getting used to it. Okay. Um, it's, it's pretty much like that because we don't have a lot of time. If we can't spend too much time off the road. Um, but, it, I mean, it was definitely a challenge, but we're happy with the way everything turned out. Okay, right on. For me, it was nice because in the past, we usually just take like a whole month off and then we'll just focus on being in the studio and then we'll come out of the studio. And I am probably, of all of us, the worst about forgetting things. Like playing wise okay. so we'll come off of having a month off and I literally will forget how to play like half the songs <laughs> so it's really bad so not only do I have to try to remember the new songs but I'm seriously like relearning the songs I haven't played for a month but it's getting a little better but it was great for me this time because I was yeah. still playing them every weekend and it just didn't feel like I had to so relearn anything. So you didn't have anything. like two weeks of rehearsal yeah. before when you <laughs> yeah. just played a show a month ago. All right right on so other I mean Firefly's been doing this for a while it's not like your first time around the block what was different other than how you recorded it? What was different about recording this album and the way it sounded and things like that? Well, we have a new drummer. Yes, we have a new yeah, drummer. Yeah, Adam's pretty new. Much brand new. Hey, over there. <laughs> that was a major Hello. difference. <laughs> how did you come to be a part of Firefly? Tell me about that. Um, well, I used to play in a band called Search the City on Tooth and Nail Records. Yeah, they're kind of awesome. Uh, oh, thanks. Um, <laughs> so that band broke up because we were so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Then, uh, <laughs> only, only good bands break up, man. Like that's the rule, right? Yeah. yeah. So I was actually just living out in California, um, 
not, I was just working for a company out there, just working a day job, and I got a call from Justin one day, just randomly. Uh, came out to Nashville to play with these guys in January of last year, and then um, everything fit, so. Was this like a tryout? Did you guys like call them and say, hey, we're kind of interested, but there's like 15 other people lined up. <laughs> and you get, like made him perform for his spot? <laughs> Basically, they said, there's yeah. a bunch of yeah. other people <laughs> we're trying out, so you get to wait for three months and see if your life is gonna change or not. <laughs> Um, so there was a lot of prayer during that time. I was just like sitting around being like, well, in three months I could be moving to Nashville or I could be sitting right here. So, but I was in California, so I was kind of okay with both. Right. <laughs> Were you really nervous? I feel like, okay, so I'm a huge soccer fan, right? And when people like if 18 year old kid gets a call up to the national team, you know what I mean? It's always, I was so nervous. And I got the call on the coach. That's how I would feel if I were you. Did you feel that way? When they um, called you where you're like, he's like, oh no. Gosh, it's Firefly. I was so nervous. Well, I really didn't know too much about the band. <laughs> um, yeah, That's how so, awesome we are. <laughs> yeah. I, knew, uh, I knew Justin because I kind of grew up with his wife, okay. Jessica. Um, so, but I didn't know too much about Fireflight in general, so I knew that they were a bigger band, and um, I knew there would be a great opportunity. Cool. But I didn't know too much. All right. So, um, yeah, but it was, it was a great honor to be called. So. It's TVU's Most Wanted Fire Flights in the studio. Their new album is out. It's good. You should buy it. Shop.tvulive.com. Uh, so we've talked about the sound of the recording being a little bit different. Tell me about uh, what you guys did lyrically with that, this album. It's pretty amazing. Uh, talk about what was different from this album compared to the last album or the last few albums you guys have done. Well, with this album, we really kind of opened up like our hearts. Uh, we always do that. We always pour ourselves into the album, but I think we kind of were a little bit more raw and honest on this album than we ever yeah. have been before. Just for whatever reason, the cry of our heart just kind of had kind of a bite to it. Yeah. So the music, the lyrics, I think they're a little bit more intense on this album than they have in the past ones, even though we've always talked about pretty edgy subjects. Right. So we're really interested to see how God is going to be able to work through these lyrics because I think sometimes you just have to be brutally honest and sometimes you know, the truth is right. very brutal. Right. And we feel like that's really going to maybe make a difference, though, for some people who are, you know, in a very dark time in their life and they're looking and reaching out for someone who understands. Mm -hmm. I've actually had a couple bands on the show that have talked about their new music and they were kind of in that same space, like just being a little more honest with this record. So I've asked them this question. Tell me what you guys think. Was it harder to write from that perspective? Was it harder to really... <laughs> let go of that some, st some of that stuff and put it out in the open? I, I don't think so. I mean, typically uh, when you're writing lyrics, you're editing a lot. You're trying to make it okay to say. Okay. And for me at least, um, because when we're doing lyrics, I'm typically the, the this is exactly what I mean. Right. You know, no, no strings attached, no right. you know, metaphors or anything. So for me personally, it was easy to say, okay, this part stinks you know, this part of my life stinks right now. Yeah. So it was, uh, but it's okay to say that. And I think a lot of, a lot of times we try to um, say, you know, okay, we're saved, so, you know, everything's gonna be flowers and happy. Right. And it's, it's okay for people to know and people need to know that there's gonna be trouble. There's gonna be awesome, awesome times. Yeah. But there's also gonna be pain and, and some stuff along the way that we have to deal with. Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. So when you're talking about releasing this new album, um, tell me about the feedback that you guys have gotten so far. Have you been playing songs live or any of that? How's it been so far? It's been good. We've been playing five songs, half the record. Wow, as, that's awesome. Yeah, and um, I didn't even think of it. Glenn said that earlier, and we actually are playing half the record already. So That's sweet. Um, the response has been great. I mean, we've got a couple songs that are way faster. One clock's in under three minutes, I think. So it's super <laughs> nice. fast. And um, everyone seems to be responding. Everyone seems to get it. And um, it's just been a lot of fun. Right. Now, I haven't got a chance to listen to this album multiple times to really dig into it. But from what I've heard, I will tell you, and this is very much a compliment, that a lot of bands, I feel like, tend to grow softer. And you guys have really stayed pretty aggressive and even more so aggressive with this album. So I think that's really cool. Like, congratulations on that. That's a Thank big you. compliment. Like, Thank you. <laughs> did you guys notice that when you were recording this album? Is that something that you try to keep doing? Or tell me about that. I think it was very much intentional. I think we went into the studio um, with knowing uh, the heart factor of it. Um, we went into the studio just saying, you know, we want, we want uh, a rock record that's yeah. really just going to that's really gonna 
tug at the emotional heartstrings, you know, and and also with being heavy, also being able to go the opposite direction and give the give the record some ebb and flow and to give it some emotional down and some emotional high and right. to try to cover um, all of those feelings that that are being portrayed in the songs lyrically as well. Cool. Yeah, like I said, I think it's phenomenal sounding. I haven't dug into it enough yet to really get all of it. Man, it sounds great. So Thank you. really Thank great you. new album. Again, if you don't have it, it's called now. Shop.tvulive.com. More with Firefly, including the premiere of Stay Close, is on the way. CVU's Most Wanted. Brand new music from Firefly. Their new video for Stay Close. If you want to see it in the time Most Wanted next week, you will have to get your vote in, which you can do at tvulive.com. Pretty sweet video. Again, lots of keys, lots of cups. Tell me about when you shot this video and you heard about the treatment, all that kind of stuff. Well, we had two days to shoot this video, which is a little different for us. Usually we have one day to do two videos. <laughs> mm -hmm. Two days for one video was strange, but um, we were all together in a really cool venue in Nashville called Ruby for the, the group shots and everything. Okay. And it was pretty great, like a blank space, I think. I was really impressed with the location. Yeah. And then the second day, it was just me, which I've never really played like a separate character for right. in a video before, which was very difficult. And um, what made it difficult? Well, first of all, we did it all in our producer's house, so oh, we really right only okay. had one room for most of the scenes. So we kept having to change everything <laughs> in between the scenes, which takes a long time. And it's just like a like the person in it is just going through a cycle, so she keeps right. doing the same things over and over again. So it would be like 30 times in a row of me going and picking something up and looking at it. It's like, okay, this time look at it right to the right and then to the left and then go back. All right, now come back and do it again and lift your eyebrow. Okay, less eyebrow this time, <laughs> like 30 times. And, that sounds really and awkward. The video actually. is kind of confusing, and we shot it all out of order, so I wasn't always exactly sure like what my character even knew about yet each time I so he'd be like so I wasn't sure what I was supposed to be thinking or remember thinking. you haven't knocked over the cup yet but you've done the key thing already so but that cup is broken this one is not this one is not so, and don't break those over there in real life cuz we can't it break was them. really hard <laughs> When you told the rest of them, were you guys there for the taping, even though it was just her that one day? Or uh, did she have to for a little back. bit? Okay. So when she came to tell you, so I went to this room like 30 times. Did you guys start questioning how this video was going to turn out? Like, this sounds kind of weird. Oh, uh, we, we got a treatment for it in advance, so we kind of had an idea. Right. Um, but the guy that did it, uh, Kip is his first name. He's amazing. So he, we trusted that he was going to do the right job. It looks great. It turned out really, I mean, so even if it seemed awkward shooting it, it looked really, really good. So, Fireflight joining me in the studio. The new album's out. We talked about it. If you missed that, you're going to have to catch the interview on YouTube. We're not going to talk about it again. But you should buy the album because it's really good. Uh, so what does Fireflight have coming up? What's coming around the corner? We, uh, obviously, with the new CD out, we have to go play the songs for people. It's good. So we'll be doing um, some touring. We have to. We have to. It is required we by law. We don't have a choice. <laughs> Not that we want to. Well, I mean, technically, you've already been playing half the record, so you're going right. to play the other half now? <laughs> no. 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 Just the same half? Yeah, yeah maybe. <laughs> I don't know. That's probably a good call. These then, questions are too intense. If you played the second half, then people will have heard all the songs, and then they're not going to have to go get the record. So. No, they'll still have to go get it. Because we, play, we play polka versions live. <gasps> so slightly different. Okay. Well, yeah, no like, wonder rehearsal has been so tough. Right, that's it's why I can never remember polka. anything. Right. <laughs> completely, completely different. All right, so touring plans, are they nailed down yet, or you just guys know you're going to be hitting the road? We're still working on them. Um, April and May, uh, we're going to be touring. We have some other regular, like random shows here and there Okay. in between that. All right. What else is coming up for Fireflight? Anything? Lots of festivals. Lots of festivals. Summer. season. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So if people want to keep up, what's the best way to do that? Well, they can check us out on fireflightrock.com or on facebook.com slash fireflight. And at Facebook, you can message us. We are the ones that answer our messages. Right on, right on. So if you actually want to talk to the band, you're not talking to some weirdo that's just running the Facebook fan page. <laughs> well, you may be talking well, to a weirdo. You're talking to a weirdo that is running <laughs> yeah. it. But right. it's one of us. Right. Yeah, but it's one the of these weirdos. One of the weirdos you wanted to talk to, apparently. <laughs> well, guys, seriously, the new album is awesome. Thank so, you so much. Really well done. And thank you for hanging out with me on the show today. It's always Thanks a pleasure. Thanks for having us. Again, if you want to see the new video for Stay Close next week's show, you should vote for it, tvlive.com. And don't forget to get their album. It's called Now. Check out the shop page. Here's number one, it's TVU's Most Wanted.